5,000. And you're not going to tell them. I know. So when we, because today is really clear, so when you get up there and you start looking around, you're going to see more than one lighthouse. So, does this work for you? Yeah. Okay. What's going on, y'all? We are at the Portland Headlight Lighthouse at Fort Williams Park. This place is hot and popping, but it is Memorial Day weekend, so that makes sense. It is $5 for parking here for two hours. They've got a food truck out here selling lobster rolls, but there is so much to see out here. But I'm gonna turn the camera around and just blow your mind. You ready? And this is the Claire's day we had. The girls have been challenged to count lighthouses that they can see from up here. I already see two. Yeah. Um, so you see where those kids are coming up to the gate down there? And you get the best views of the lighthouse from that side. And then as we go down and around, you might see, I don't really see any right now, but um, lobster boats. Because they do tours where you go out, you get a tour, and then you go pull your own lobster, and then you cook it. So. How much does that cost? Yeah. A lot? <laughs> yeah. I think it's about a hundred and some odd dollars a person. Wow! Yeah. So it's just cheaper to buy the lobster at a store. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could apply smell a vision to this video right now. Yeah. Smell the tree? Yeah. Smell the tree? It smells like Christmas. It smells like Christmas. It does smell like Christmas. I'm gonna peek over the edge. I see two headlights. I mean, <laughs> not headlights, lighthouses. Hello. Hello there. Pretty amazing views, isn't it? It is. This is amazing. You hot, Kira? Isn't that amazing? It's been so cold, and now all of a sudden it's so hot. Yes. Okay, how many lighthouses? I saw two. You see two? One, two. Okay, I've been that way. You gonna go that way? Yeah. Actually, that way looks more fun. Oh. That way it looks more fun? <laughs> that's, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Huh? I think I should go with them. So this is pretty incredible. So, the people you see with us is Chris Hinton and his son Corbin Hinton. Uh, they haven't done any videos lately, but their YouTube channel is called Hinton the Trail. It's got some great walkthrough videos on various different RV products as well as their travels and RV parks they've stopped at. We actually met them at the Tampa RV Show in 2022 and we just really hit it off. Uh, their son Corbin is named Corbin after Corbin Dallas from the movie The Fifth Element. We had to watch that last night with the girls before we met them so that they would know. <laughs> and the uh, they've got a silver truck named the Mandalorian, or Mando. They're just like, okay. Mm -hmm. We had the potential to be like best friends, but they were ending their, their road trip and we were just getting begin just getting started. So this is a great opportunity for us to meet up again. Unfortunately, we, we missed the mom, Suzanne. She's uh, down in Florida right now for one of their kids' graduations. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is just a great opportunity. Chris is coming out here being an awesome, he's like a tour guide. Yeah, telling us how many lighthouses to look for and yep. or asking us to <laughs> find them. It was pretty fun. Yep. So Tanya's going to hang out up here because these rocks are like a bunch of stairs. So I'm going to go down here and see if I can get some good photographs. Oh, yep, there's Kaylin. Thank you. <laughs> this is a good cut through right here. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> These are pretty easy to climb, aren't they? Yeah. That's the one you need to try to find something to get. Flash. 
Here you go. Stop it now. Here you go. You can see Tanya way up there at the fence. So while we were in Crystal Beach, Texas, the seagulls were a little smaller with these black heads. And we learned that those weren't actually seagulls. They're some other kind of gull. And we saw like one of these big seagulls. These are the actual seagulls. Right, you it, you kind of were starting to go with uh, homesteading. I was supposed to be starting on uh, tracking hopper. I have no idea what the rules are. If we were at a Texas State Park, I would probably tell you no. What do you think? As long as you don't rip it off. I mean, the water comes in and goes out up here, right? Interrupted bit. So. Hi. So you wanted to just get all up in the camera? Yeah. It's like a trail that just leads all the way. That's like different stripes of rock. You see that, Kira? There's different lines of rock that go through. It's pretty cool when you think about it. That's some Minecraft level stuff right there. This is like the obsidian. Yeah, it's like you got a little trail that takes you all the way down to the water. Here, come this way. If y'all get the chance to come out here and visit the Portland Headlight, I highly recommend it. This is an epic opportunity. These rocks are not too terribly hard to climb on if you're able to. The parking, $5 for two hours is not bad. There are a lot of people here, but I mean, out here on the rocks right now, there's like maybe less than 20 of us. I mean, right now, there's nobody else in the shot with me. I was expecting this place to be so super busy that we wouldn't even be able to get a good photo or video. So this is pretty nice. Like I said, I recommend it, it's worth it. Is this a tough climb for y'all? What you doing down there? Cleaning up? Yeah. I'd rather go that way instead of balancing on a tiny rock. Shout for the rock sculpture. Wow! It looks like one of those Chinese rock Rock sculpture. It smells like crab sushi. <laughs> Why crab does it sushi. smell like crab sushi? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like seaweed and crab. It's what I found way over there. Ooh, it's like that, that does stink. <laughs> That's a quick glimpse of what it looks like. We went a little further out and got less people. You're looking hot for Instagram there, Hint. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Hit it, Hinton. It's mama. Watch out, but I'm not going to pick it up. We literally, I found a bunch of snails. I think they enjoyed it more than I thought they were. Burmese? Burmese? Was Burmese mountain dogs? They had a big corn. They did buttered corn. I, I think I would like that. They had like a, like a cream corn. Where's your mom? She's in the gift shop looking for magnets. My mama. I have a story. You're right. Yeah, I have a story. 
Fort Gorgeous. When you're trying to get somewhere, they're just stopping like, right you have here, to battle me. Yeah. And with my Pokemon are like dead. Is, uh, <laughs> How did you wind up with a penguin? Are there penguins in Maine? Because <laughs> it had a purple beak. Uh huh. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I didn't. It has purple eyes too. No. Puffer, did they? Puffins? I don't think so. <laughs> oh. Uncle Doug, is that you? Yeah, as far as I can. The, the yellow looks like. Yeah, yep. Lobster pot. So that's what they'll drop down in there? Yeah, I think they. Or they already pulled them up, maybe. I think they just pulled it up. And it's in the pot. So do they eat them on the boat then, too? I think they take them back. Okay. You can see the gulls are uh, very interested. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yep, they just threw something for the gull. Since it's not foggy right now, I'll have to make the noise myself. Here we go. How was that? Was that good? Yeah. <laughs> Cor Corbin said that. Hi. You're by the lighthouse. No, I'm on the lighthouse. You're on the lighthouse. Whistle house. Ear protection. Because the whistles are so loud. It might. That's where we were standing before on those rocks over there. If, you, if you're really tall, then you just do this. And then you go in there. The bell is from 1901. And I do a small Sorry, is that a cup of clams? Yeah. I'm asleep. We had some mice around back and forth. Yeah. We figured we were taking up a <laughs> what, are, what are you being safe from? She's saying she feels um, claustrophobic. She, she said she feels claustrophobic. We'll be in New York by then. We well, it's been a fun day hanging out in Portland with our friends Chris and Corbin Hinton. Sorry we missed seeing Susanna. We hope that we'll get to see them again someday, but it, it's hard to say. They, uh, they used to RV full time, but they are sticking close to Maine now, so Corbin can go to school here. But it's been so awesome to spend time with them. The kids got to trade Pokemon cards. Got to enjoy some seafood here. This is our second time at Doc Seafood. We actually were here last weekend and Chris and Corbin had never eaten here, so we got to show some Mainers a new restaurant. Kind of a cool experience, but we love the clam chowder here. So we wanted to actually come back because it's delicious. At any rate, thank you all so much for watching our video today. This was an awesome adventure. We, uh, if you can make it to the Port Portland Headlight, that is a great thing to go see. It's, uh, there's definitely a lot of people there. If you can go during the week, that would be even better. But then you might miss out on some of the stuff, like people selling photographs and the gift shop being open and the museum. There is a museum. Uh, Kira wanted to go in it, but everybody else wanted to eat. It was $2 for adults, $1 for kids to go inside the lighthouse building and just kind of learn some of the history. Kira and I wanted to do it, but like I said, everybody else was getting hungry and thirsty, so we took off. But if you wanted to go and check that out, that's how much it would cost you. And if you're over here, this is in South Portland, which is the actual name of the city, South Portland. Doc's Seafood. It's been really good. The service has always been great. We've been here two times. Lobster rolls are always going to be pricey. That <laughs> goes the Hintons. Lobster rolls are going to be pricey no matter where you go. But a bowl of clam chowder is definitely enough to fill you up. And it is ah, delicious. All right, y'all. Remember, life happens. Even amazing, wonderful things. Why would that stop you, right? Well, of course not. Life happens. Don't let it stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.